Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting chess game from the history of chess. And in this chess game we have Joseph Henry Blackburn with the white pieces and his opponent is an unknown chess player. And in this chess game Joseph Henry Blackburn was playing blindfolded chess. He was blindfolded in this chess game. And this is the engraving of Joseph Henry Blackburn when he was playing blindfolded chess against multiple people simultaneously. A cool picture while he was smoking his cigar, he was destroying his opponents at the same time. So this is only one chess game of Blackburn when he was playing blindfolded. So this is a tambored blindfolded chess simul from 1863. And Joseph Henry Blackburn, who has the white pieces, starts the game with pushing the e pawn, e5, d4. Challenging the center, e takes on d4, and now c3. This is the Danish gambit. Very similar with the Simit Mora gambit, but you play you can play the Simit Mora Gambit against the Sicilian defense. You play the Danish Gambit like this. So, e4, e5, d4. e takes on d4. And offering the pawn, c3. d takes on c3. The Danish Gambit accepted. Bishop to c4 and Blackburn was extremely confident when he was playing blindfolded. Also sacrificing the b pawn, d6. Knight takes on c3, knight to c6, knight to f3, knight to e5, capturing the knight, capturing back, and it is white to move. Well, Blackburn didn't miss the opportunity and he captured the pawn. Bishop takes on f7, and if king takes bishop, then queen takes queen, so king to e7, but now bishop to g5, and if capturing the bishop again, capturing the queen, so blocking, queen to h5, the knight is pinned. And already Blackburn is extremely aggressive, so c6, rook to d1, defending the queen, f4 by Blackburn. He also wants to open the f-file, queen to c5, f takes on e5, queen takes on e5, and Blackburn castled. He has open files, and this is already looking vicious, the knight is pinned. The king is exposed, and Blackburn's pieces are very active. They are waiting to cause damage in the black's camp, so pushing the pawn asking a question, but we have bishop to 8 by Blackburn, and threatening to play queen to f7, checkmate. So we have bishop to e6, defending. So of course in this position, if capturing the bishop, then queen to f7, and this is checkmate, there is no defense. And black is getting checkmated. So we have h6, bishop to 8 threatening mate, defending with the bishop, and what would you do in this position? Actually, let me give you a tip. White is winning by force. And when Blackburn was playing blindfolded against 10 people simultaneously, he didn't miss the winning move. Can you guess the next move of Joseph Henry Blackburn? Well, he sacrificed the rook. Rook takes on f6, this is the first attacking move. G takes on f6 and then rook to d7 again, sacrificing the other rook. What a move. This is the follow-up. So removing the defender and now attacking the king and this is the only move. Bishop takes on d7 but now checking the king, queen to f7. If king to d8, queen takes bishop, checkmate, king to d6, queen takes bishop, and now flashing out the king, king to c5, bishop to e3, checking the king, king to b4, and queen takes on b7, king to a5, running away, and now b4 by Joseph Henry Blackburn, checking the king, bishop takes on b4, and now what? What would you do once again? 
Let me give you three seconds. One, two, three. Well, this is what Blackburn did. Bishop to b6, checking the king. What an incredible attack by Joseph Henry Blackburn. Only move, and then capturing the rook. Check, mate. What an incredible chess game. He destroyed his opponent. And this was a blindfolded masterpiece by Joseph Henry Blackburn. So, this is the engraving of Blackburn. What a badass. Smoking his jigger and kicking some butts. <laughs> While he was blindfolded. And thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you next time. I hope that you enjoyed this incredible blindfolded chess game from England. Did you know that when Blackburn started playing chess, he was almost 20 years old. And after learning the moves, just a few years later, he was capable of playing blindfolded chess games. And he was also capable of defeating one of the leading chess players in his era. He was an incredible talent. Just like Harry Nelson Pillsbury. And thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.